A huge statue. A grandiose cathedral. The people of Mondstadt clearly spent a great deal of resources and energy to construct them. But how aware of this was the animal Archon on receiving this gift? And how much did he give back in return? Faith doesn't ask for anything in return, though. Does it? <laughs> as long as the gods have a clear conscience about it all, there's nothing I can say about it. Shh! We're about to enter the cathedral! Don't say anything bad about the Animal Archon! And actually, the Animal Archon is... Ugh, never mind! <laughs> I never specifically said I would enter the cathedral. I'll leave you two to mingle with the sisters. Huh? You are the honorary knight of Mondstadt. They will surely allow you to poke into these affairs with their utmost trust. Having me tag along would only make them suspicious. Correct. And just as our little friend said, I might say something bad about the church at any time. When a non-believer steps onto holy ground, the result is never pretty. I have never received the favor of the gods in the past. I don't see any reason I would need it now, or in the future either. That's enough about that. While we've been chit-chatting, the Abyss Order continues to act. Okay, then we'll just go in ourselves and ask around. I should warn you about one thing. Don't go mentioning the defiled statue inside the cathedral. The Church of Favonius wouldn't ignore the matter of the statue. But if they rashly tried anything against the Abyss Order, it would only ruin whatever element of surprise we may have. Also, meddling in the affairs of the Abyss usually doesn't end well for anyone. Honorary Knight! Hi, how have you been? Do you need anything today? Uh, but I should first make it clear... That if you need to borrow the Holy Lyre to Hermel again, we cannot oblige. It seems she hasn't realized it's just an illusion. Oh, we're here to ask some questions about something. Barbara, have you heard about the first field tiller? Hmm. What's that? Field tiller? What does it do? Uh, of course you wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> okay, next question. Has the church ever lost a statue of the Seven? Huh? You're here to ask about that old story? Well, I didn't expect that. That was such a long time ago, barely anyone mentions it nowadays. A long time ago, there was indeed one statue of the Seven that disappeared one night without a trace. Nearly every member of the church joined the search for it, but it was never found. In the church's records, as you might assume, this incident has been called the Lost Statue of the Seven. Hmm. Of course! Of course? Uh, nothing? So do you have any other clues? Uh, uh, Paimon means? Any other strange stories? <laughs> Sorry, Barbara, but we can't tell you about the statue we saw just yet. Like Dane said outside, it's for your own good. Other strange stories? I'm not sure. Let me think about what other unusual incidents are in the church's records. Mm. Oh, the tyrant's final fury? Mm, no, that's from another time. Probably unrelated. The tyrant's final fury? Oh... This refers to a time of great danger that engulfed old Mondstadt, the place now known as Storm Terror's Lair. Many, many years ago, there was a time when balls of fire would rain from the sky whenever anyone approached old Mondstadt. Balls of fire raining from the sky? How terrifying! People at that time believed it was a curse laid down by the god of storms, so they referred to it as the tyrant's final fury. This strange phenomenon continued for about a year. No one was ever able to solve it. It just gradually ceased on its own.
Right. Later, the theory of the tyrant's final theory became less probable in the eyes of the church. Common reasoning dictates that the God of Storms wouldn't shoot fireballs. Perhaps it was something else that caused the disaster. Anyway, this incident might not be related to the lost statue of the Seven, but I just can't think of any other strange incidents that might be. It's okay. Thanks, anyway! There's that pointless word, thank you, again. I can never get used to hearing it. Oh, Rosaria, it's you. If you're looking for the Knights of Favonius, they're busy with those monsters again. Uh, those monsters? Those monsters that tried to attack Mondstadt last time during the Storm Terror incident? Wasn't that the Abyss Order? They're at it again? Indeed. They're gathering in Wolvenbem, causing great unrest among the wolves. Could it be that the Abyss Order is targeting the spirit of Lupus Boreas? <sighs> As for what purpose, I can't say for certain. Master Jean has already headed off to Wolvenbem. I must also begin to make a move myself. As well. Master Jean said you should stay at the church and continue your work with the clergy. M but you're also a member of the clergy. Right. We'll go give Master Jean a hand. Oh, okay. If the honorary knight will be there, then. But please, everyone, be careful. May the animal archon protect you all. I see. Has the Abyss Order already launched a new operation? This could very well have something to do with the Defiled Statue. We should go as well. But what is the Abyss Order going to Wolvendom for anyway? Are they looking to do the same as they did with Devalin? Uh, not again! No, that's not likely. Unlike Osile, who was just suppressed, Andreas died long ago. Today, it is just his spirit that stands guard over Wolvendom. The Abyss Herald may just be targeting the spirit of Andreas in an attempt to garner some information from one of the Animo Archon's old companions. Right. Fourth. Uh, the Abyss Order! Don't underestimate the enemy. Let's take them now. The closer we get to the target, the more enemies there are. <laughs> Fits the Abyss Order's style. Yeah, let's go! I'm... not going any further. Huh? Why not? Is it because you're afraid of fluffy animals? It has nothing to do with wolves. It's because Boreas was an ancient god, yet he willingly became a servant of the Seven. I cannot possibly agree with his actions. I don't desire any interaction with him. Besides, you're the one people like. I'm... less likable. There's nothing special about gods anyway. It's just my opinion, but a word of advice. Always be on your guard when around gods. You shouldn't place too much trust in them. But at the same time, don't go too far in the opposite direction. Don't go trying to overthrow them or hunt them down. Even if the god in question is your sworn enemy. Don't trust them and don't hunt them. That's some awkward advice. Does Dane hate the Seven or is he protecting them? <laughs> Lest I repeat the failings of my forebears, I will tell you one final fact. Huh? What fact? The destruction of the nation of Kanria by the gods is the reason the Abyss Order now seeks to destroy the nations watched over by the Seven. Well, enough chit-chat. We should get back to business. I will go take care of the remaining Abyss Order members in the area. Try and keep your visit with Boreas brief. Afterward, let's meet at the entrance to Wolvendom. Up! There he goes! What a strange man. Yeah, that's true. You also keep your guard up against unfamiliar gods. At the Rite of Dissension in Lyre, your decision was very similar to what Dane would do. <sighs> Not the easiest situation. Honorary Knight, Paimon, what are you two doing here? Oh, Master Jean! So 
glad we found you. Rosaria told us that you came here to fight the Abyss Order, so we came to help. Then your help is greatly appreciated. The Abyss Order's sudden offensive is very strange. They have surrounded Wolvendom. I am preparing to send out some knights to fight back. I just scouted out all of Wolvendom, but I did not see you. Rosaria told me that the Abyss Order is going after Boreas. But the Abyss Order and Boreas... What is the connection between them? They just like to cause trouble. Ah, do they really need a reason? The Abyss Order already went after Devalin. It's not too surprising that they would also go after another one of the Animal Archon's buddies. Hmm, that is true. Regardless, whether the reason behind the present threat is clear or not, I will handle the situation. Honorary Knight, please go and check if Lupus Boreas is in any danger. This god's spirit... He does not often see people, but I hear that you have met him before. Maybe it is best that you are also the one to meet him this time. Okay, be careful. Thank you for your help, Honorary Knight of Favonius. <gasps> Over there, it's Razor! And... the Abyss Herald! You! Not welcome here! <laughs> so... The wolf's wretched spirit likes to raise wild pups now. You claim to be a guardian, yet your once sharp claws have clearly dulled since your days of godly glory. If you serve us, we can restore your divine powers you once held in the past. Never surrender! But this can't go on. No matter how many times you resist us, your efforts are all in vain. Right. A touch of frost. Huh? Absorption test. Ceremony was interrupted. How fortunate for you. How does an old spirit have such determined will? No matter. This is but a small unforeseen variable. Our grand scheme will not be affected. It disappeared again! Thank you. You came. Just in time. Human Lupacal. I am ashamed that you must see me in my present state. But still, the Abyss Herald underestimated my strength. Lupus Boreas never refuses trial, but scary outsider. Not respect trial rules. I too didn't see the trap. Wait, so you mean the Abyss Order had everything prepared to corrupt Lupus Boreas's mind, then lured him out under the pretense of challenging him in a trial? Thank you. In the future, my claws must get sharper. You smelled danger and came here? No, we heard about the danger. Paimon's nose doesn't even know what danger smells like. Besides coming to help, we actually have something to ask you about, too. Ah, uh, excuse us, Mr. Wolf God. Do you know anything about the first field tiller? I pay no heed to the contraptions of humans. I know not what this field tiller is. 
Though there was indeed one human-made machine that I can never forget. It entered into my proving ground by accident, and I mistook it for a challenger. But it could not think, only fight. It was designed as a pure killing machine from top to bottom. I eventually damaged it greatly with one of my attacks. Before it fell to the ground, it fled the proving ground. Hmm. By the sounds of it, it's possible that could have been the very first field tiller, right? Missiles. I do not know this strange word. As I said, I pay no heed to the contraptions of humans. It could spin, leap high into the air, and even shoot fireballs. Although no match for a god, it was stronger than even many who wield vision. Fireballs? Hey, didn't we hear this somewhere else recently as well? Anyway, this pretty much proves that the first field tiller came to Mondstadt, doesn't it? It sounds like the first one was way stronger than the mass-produced ruin guards that came after. But in this story, it was damaged at the proving ground while fighting the Wolf of the North. Don't know, but did we help? Yes, you were a big help. Thanks. We need to keep investigating something super important. The Abyss Herald may have left, but the Abyss's forces are still attacking. You two be careful. Yes, I smell more danger. Bigger danger. You two also be careful. Well, that was some good intel. Quick, let's go tell Dane. Dane, there you are. Did you see Master Jean? I saw her, but purposely avoided her. As both the Lion Fang Knight and acting Grand Master, she naturally would have some reservations towards me. If I'm not careful, one day I may find myself becoming the object of one of her investigations. But back to the matter at hand. I defeated some of the Abyss forces, but wasn't able to gather any information. Did you have more success? I see. Well then, we can more or less figure out where the first field tiller ended up. Huh? Really? Just from the Lupus Boreas story? That information combined with a more comprehensive analysis. For example, the old story you told me you heard in the cathedral. Exactly. The strange story told to you by that young sister. Long mistaken to be a curse rained down by a deceased tyrant. Ah, Paimon gets it. So the tyrant's final fury was really just missiles fired from the field tiller after it ran from Wolvendom. After it was damaged in the fight with the Wolf of the North, it must have wandered into the ruins of Old Mondstadt and stayed there. Then, whenever anyone got close, pew, pew! Boom! It would fire a ton of missiles at them. Until one day, it finally broke down for good, and the fireball stopped raining from the sky. Back then, the people of Mondstadt hadn't seen many ruin guards before, so they came to interpret it as the tyrant's final fury. It looks like we need to make a trip to Storm Terror's lair and comb the entire area. Hmm, what do you mean? Huh? You mean... Oh, Paimon remembers too! We saw that abandoned ruin guard sitting atop the tower when we went there before. Can't forget something like that. This is it, right? <sighs> okay then, use your elemental sight to look for the eye. Ooh, so what 
did you see? Huh? Nothing? Oh, but Paimon was so excited! Uh, what's going on? Are you sure you did it right? This requires another method. Using elemental sight on a field tiller is of no use because it is not powered by the elements. Let me give it a try. And done. Wow! It's... it's a... The very thing the Abyss Herald has been seeking all along. The Eye of the First Field Tiller. All of the Ruin Guards today are just replicas of this machine. As the prototype, its combat capability was unrestricted. Prototype? Oh, Paimon doesn't know that word. Is it another ancient term from Conria? As the Abyss Order has surmised, if this eye is placed in the hands of the defiled statue, and if the limbs of Osile, overlord of the Vortex, are attached to the statue, there you have a mechanized god. And this newly born god will have the power to topple the divine thrones of Celestia. Yes. Then... What should we do with this eye? No. I'll guard it myself. Huh? You? Uh, Dane? Mm, you won't go and do anything crazy with it, will you? You may doubt me if you wish, but I must ensure it does not fall into the wrong hands. No matter where we may hide it, they will find it. And as for the Church of Favonius, well... You know I don't trust them. Oh, <laughs> right. But our work isn't done yet. To avoid any further repercussions, we must also take care of that defiled statue. We can't have the church get involved. Let's handle it ourselves. As for what I mean by take care of it, Naturally, I mean to completely destroy it. Uh, destroy it? That's a statue of the Seven! As well as being a really important cultural relic, they're actually divine, too! Oh, well, good thing we didn't tell Barbara earlier. Otherwise, she'd be going completely bonkers right now! Huh. Do the Seven really expect me to help them look after what belongs to them? Let's go back to those ruins and destroy the inverted statue. If we are lucky, we will also run into that Abyss Herald. I'll make sure it doesn't get away this time. So after all that running around, we end up right back here again. Look at us. We barely escaped this place last time, and now we're strolling right back in. Gee, surely we must be some of the bravest adventurers in all of Tavat. That are the stupidest. To get to that creepy statue, we just need to follow the path we used to escape last time. That should take us right to it. Yep, that'll work. Let's go, and remember to be on your guard. Looks like we're here. An eerie, lifeless, dark chamber. I understand the evil aura you were describing earlier. Such a scary place. Be careful to not be overwhelmed by the power of the defiled statue. The Abyss Herald. It's here. <laughs> you sense correctly. You are just as vexatious as ever, Dane's Lift, enemy of the Abyss. I sense your soul is stained by terrible bloodshed. Perhaps from your darkest nightmares. Unless... <laughs> oh, and something far more dangerous. You reek of a corruption familiar to me. Then we are the same. We're both dangerous. But 
dangers from outside of the Abyss Order must be caught and caged. It is your words that forever reek of corruption. Time to silence you! Swift and merciful! This! Submit for justice! The world! with this man. He is my enemy. You mean? <sighs> but it must be said. <sighs> Don't try to stop me. Don't try to stop the Abyss. That man, Dainsliff, was the Twilight Sword, one of the royal guards of the final dynasty of Conria. Five hundred years ago, he failed to prevent the destruction of Conria. A curse of immortality was laid upon him to forever wander the wilderness, while he watched the people he was supposed to protect turn into monsters of the Abyss. You're saying Dane is from Conria? The same Conria that was destroyed five hundred years ago? And you said the people turned into monsters? You're trying to tell Paimon that the Abyss Order is not only related to Conria, but is actually the people of Conria themselves? Uh, and the whole thing about Dane being your enemy... Oh, Paimon's so confused. Home. Yes. Of course. Home is wherever we are together. But I cannot go with you to the next world to find a new home. At least, not yet. Until the Abyss has engulfed the thrones, my war with destiny will see no end. Listen to me, Aether. I have already traveled through this world once. Once you reach the end of your journey as I did, you will see for yourself the true nature of this world. So we'll meet again. Though we need not rush, brother. I have more than enough time to wait for you. <laughs> we have always had enough time. <laughs> Um, 
by the way, what they said just now is all pretty... Oh, well then, uh, let's go over it again. First off, that Abyss Herald called your sister Princess. It seems like your sister is leading the Abyss Order. Even the Abyss Herald answers to her. Still, we don't know for sure if she's the highest ranking leader in the organization. Also, your sister said that she wants to engulf the thrones and go to war with destiny. What the heck does that mean? Could it be that she wants to destroy the Seven and the Seven Nations? Next thing, turns out the Abyss Order monsters are really what the people of Conria turned into after their nation was destroyed. This story is just plain terrifying. And Dave is from Conria too! He witnessed its destruction 500 years ago. But he didn't turn into a monster. And now he's fighting the Abyss Order. So that's why your sister said that Dane is her enemy, right? But if the monsters of the Abyss are the same people that Dane protected all those years ago, then why is he enemies with the Abyss Order now? Also, how come after all this time we spent searching for your sister, it turns out she's on the side of the Abyss? Yeah, you're right. Then we can't let ourselves get down about it now. Our journey's not over yet. Let's get a move on. Time to leave this terrible dark place and get back to the surface where the sun shines bright. If your sister wants you to reach the end of your journey, well then, show her what you're made of. Come on, traveler. Let's go.